Good morning, my gorgeous friends on the internet. Look at that, we changed the background. We have nature itself representing us, Flora Gang. Okay, <laughs> so I really wanted to make a dedicated episode on giving you a little story of mine, of how I learn things and what I messed up when it comes to health and my diet and things of that sort, because that's something that a lot of people don't necessarily focus on. And I think it's really bad. So I started messing around with programming when I was 15 or 16. I was trying to make a game engine in C++, not the brightest choice out there, but it is what it is. So you can imagine 16 year old me trying to learn a game engine. It didn't really go well at all so i kind of dropped it and started exploring other hobbies and interests but eventually i did end up back at at web development so programming again and ever since then that's kind of what i've been doing now lately i've been switching to some other stuff which i'm gonna get into just in a bit but from my perspective and the environment when I was learning, it was heavily emphasized that you should be learning a bunch of new technologies and you should focus and program a bunch uh, to, to get really good, right? So that was kind of the mentality that I saw around and something that I should be doing as well. So what that meant for me is that I stopped eating as much as I should. I wouldn't take breaks. I would just program and be lost in it. And I forget to drink water and all of that stuff, which affected my health very, very negatively. I lost a ton of weight, uh, which I'm trying to recover right now. And it's been working out just fine, thankfully. Uh, but I'm, I still struggle with that balance. Nobody really, I mean, people do talk about it now, but there's this balance of, hey, okay, I just programmed for three hours or five hours or whatever, done. Okay, stop, don't do anything else. Take a break, go eat, go go work out a bit, go do other stuff, it's fine. You don't need to work fucking, oh, I said the bad word, YouTube. Don't, don't kill me. Oh, that's another one. So this is what I'm talking about, this balancing things out. And some of you might not even realize that you're doing it until you look at the clock and you're like, whoa, well, 12 hours just passed by. That's a lot of time to just code. And so I would recommend to put a stopwatch, time watch, what are those things called? Just put like, hey, yo, I'm gonna do four hours today and that's it. Close everything, don't touch anything else, go do other stuff. So. That's that's a really good tip. And not only that, but I also developed a ringing in my right ear and I haven't checked it out. I didn't know what it was. Uh, so again, I'm putting more focus on my health now. So I went to a doctor to check it out and I'm going through all of this process of making sure that I don't have tinnitus, hopefully, because I don't want that to be a thing. And also in the last few weeks, I developed a sharp pain going down my neck here on the right side of my neck from down here all the way up. And it's just it just made it a nightmare for me to sit down and just stay in front of the computer because my neck, neck would tense up so badly that I couldn't focus on doing anything I wanted. So as you can see, at the end of the day, even if I would want to work for 12 or 15 hours right now programming, I couldn't do it just because I, I didn't take care of my health and I developed strong neck pain. And you know, some, some of you might think like, oh, I'm young. It's okay, I can do it. I'm gonna program for five more years, then I'm gonna do wrestling, I'm gonna be John Cena. How about though, you can't see me? How's that thing called, the tree knuckle punch that he does? He's like... Here it comes! So this is the main reason you see me post here pretty much one time per week, is because I do wanna focus more on my health. I also wanna focus more on the other passions I have. Uh, the tech channel is gonna come out in a week or two. And that's been a godsend because it's so nice to be able to move around and film and just set up things and travel a bit and things of that sort, not just staying in front of the computer all day and just trying to figure out a cool programming thing that people might like. So at the end of the day, what I wanna say is that programming or whatever you're doing is only a small part of your entire life. There's other important things such as friends, family, your health, other hobbies, other passions, and you shouldn't let that small part take control over everything else because it's gonna damage it, it's gonna make it worse, and your life is not gonna be as, as nice, and it's not worth that sacrifice. Again, there's more to life than programming or your career. So that's one important thing to keep in mind. But the funny thing is, usually when you balance things out in your life, it's gonna keep your mind also healthy and clear, which automatically is gonna make you a better programmer or whatever you are doing. 
So thank you so much for watching and let me know if you want to see more of these talking videos. If you really like them, write down in the comments and talk more about my love life. <laughs>